Hi, this is Rebecca Dirks at Winter Nam 2010 at the Charvel booth talking to Mike McGregor about uh, you got a new Warren D. Martini signature here, right? Yes, thanks, Rebecca. Uh, I'm Mike McGregor from Charvel. This is new Warren D. Martini uh, uh, signature series guitar. Uh, we have three others. We have the Bomber, the Cross Swords, and the Blood and Skulls. This is the newest family, newest member of the family. Snakeskin graphic done by Dan Lawrence. It's a matte finish. It's got stainless steel frets and it's got um, an adjustable truss, it's a truss rod mod that we do for our artists typically. You don't really see it on our guitars, but we decided to add this because it's kind of more road ready. This guitar is great out of the box, it's custom. Uh, snakeskin matching end cap, and of course, the signature on the back of the neck. It's gonna be a banger, it's a killer guitar. Cool. And uh, where'd the snakeskin idea come from? Uh, it came from uh, back in the 80s, uh, Warren D. Martini had, uh, I remember, it's actually the first time I saw a snakeskin guitar. It was on the cover of a magazine, and he was standing there with it. I thought it was so cool, um, and I always thought, man, it'd be cool to have one of those. And then these years progressed, and I got the Charvel line, um, and we were working with Warren, because he's synonymous with the brand. Uh, we just we talked about doing this, and it's been a labor of love. I've been wanting to do one of these forever. So it's just very cool to have this in a line. The truss rod modification is something we've done. Typically on a Charvel, our truss rod adjustment is still here at the heel, but you have to pull the neck to adjust it, just because of the way we do our truss rods with the one-piece necks. Uh, one thing we did for the guys that are touring out there, the, the, tech, the techs had been calling us saying, oh, guys, man, is there any way you can help us? So we came up with the modification. We actually, uh, we mod it with a wheel and we notch out the fingerboard to allow for that. It's something we will do for anyone that orders a custom shop guitar if they want it done, but we added it to the features of this particular guitar. And that's the only production Charvel that's got it then, huh? It's the only production Charvel that has it, yes. Cool. All right, but anybody who's getting a custom one wants it, you, you'll do it for sure. them. Sure, okay. we're nice guys. <laughs> cool, thanks a lot for showing that to us. If uh, people want to see more pictures of it or learn anything more about the guitar or Charvel's guitars, uh, where can you go online? Uh, Charvel.com. All this information is going to be up there real soon on the guitar. Thanks a lot. This is uh, Rebecca Dirks with PremierGuitar.com, and we're at Winter Nam 2010.